Oops. Yep, I'm headed down the Bloomfield track. And we did see a cassowary along the way. So that was the Bloomfield track. Overall, the track was pretty cool. Through the rainforest, a few stops off at the beach, crazy inclines and declines. Yeah, that really pushed the car, but it, it did it. So props to the car. Well, after we got past that big hilly bit, um, we I put the car in four high, and then I moved it up to two wheel drive. And now I think we've got gear clash or some problem because I can't put the car in park. I can't put it in anything without an awful, awful noise coming from the gearbox or the transfer case or something. What do we do? Turns out there's another, another gear, if you just push it up a bit more, called 2H, that I'm learning about now. Let's go look at some art. into a free camp just by Annan River or Little Annan River, something like that. And um, there's no one else here. It's a really, really small area. The river is wet and flowing, which is cool. We've managed to park with room to set up the awning tent. So what's dinner tonight? I've no idea. Something easy, hopefully. Tonight is Butter chicken. Is butter chicken. Normally a quick and easy meal, however, in our classic way, we like to do it a bit a bit more overcomplicated. Yeah. There's like nothing in there, it doesn't even cover the bottom of it. You know what? I'm gonna make it in a kettle. But you are really conscious of when the camera goes. I've got a pan that has some potatoes, some onion, and some chili, which we'll cook first before adding the other veggies and the chicken. And of course, like the butter chicken paste and all that. And now that I've given the potato a bit of a head start with cooking because it takes so long, we'll throw the chicken in. And as soon as the chicken's sealed, we'll throw the carrot in because that needs a bit of time to cook too. Oops, I think I got a bean in there. Two beans. Nice. So the sauce has just started to pick up, so we'll add the coconut milk. So now that that's simmered for a bit and hopefully everything in there is cooked, we'll throw the beans in. They only need a minute or two because they're better crunchy. So this is Raita Bundi. It's yogurt with Bundi, which is little chickpea flour balls and some spices in it. Mm. That is really good butter chicken. Coconut milk just lightens it up a little bit. Gives it a nicer flavour I find. But it's not very healthy so I don't do it too often. You know, we thought we were alone at this small campsite, but turns out we're not. We have a friend here. So we're just finishing packing up camp and we'll head up through Cooktown today and then all the way up to Cohen tonight. Which is a decent drive, um, just the peninsula road the whole way. We've made it to Cooktown. We've just stopped at the visitor center. 
I'm on the wrong side. I'm going up the right hand side. That's wrong. Good coffee and the biggest sausage roll I've ever seen at the Cooktown Visitor Center. Double rainbow. When we got the car service, they shined the tires, which was a bit funny on such a filthy car. But they also whitened the headlights, which is really good, because I'd been putting off doing that for a while, but it looks mint. Peninsula Development Road, 200 of 600 k's is sealed and we've just hit the dirt. Ready to get the car filthy again and endure a billion corrugations getting to the tip. Well, that's the fun of it really. Between the dust and the corrugations, it's really starting to feel like Cape York. to Cohen, had a drink at the Exchange Hotel and paid for camping so we're staying just yeah. behind the hotel. The hotel has got a decent bit of land just behind where they are um, next to a nice creek and river and camping's pretty cheap so we thought we'd stay here. It's good, it's got reception so we can upload another video. I don't know, it looks pretty friendly if I'm honest, you know? Yeah, it seems nice. Yeah. beer o'clock but in this case it's not beer it's barley wine a 10.5 percent barley wine called viscosi raptor from big shed brewing all out strong far out strong very very malty but not bad so we've just got some almost boiling water and i think it's hot enough to chuck the potatoes in Is it dirty? No. So, <laughs> for dinner we're having lamb chops and Paris mash because we forgot to bring a peel up. What's Paris mash? Paris mash is mash but with the skin still on the potatoes. Isn't it? Paris no, Paris, that's the wrong one. You gave me the wrong name. Paris mash is really, really creamy mash. Potato smash is what we're making with the skin on the potatoes because we don't have a peel up. So it's a bit windy here. And the, um, the pot of potatoes blew over, all over the ground. So that one that we were debating whether to eat or not, well now they've all been on the ground, so... We washed them off, they'll be right. Yeah. But now we're cooking them over at like the shared amenities so they're under cover and shouldn't blow over. More stable. Got the lamb in the pan along with some beans and butter. And the mash is coming along too. Mash. That is delicious. Lamb chops. Can't go wrong with them. Dinner when you're out camping is like on another level. You couldn't replicate this in a five star restaurant. So, this is the first traffic lights we've seen in ages. Since that, cans? Yeah, since cans. That stop private vehicles so mining vehicles can go past. And we've been we've been stopped. Either they're very slow mining vehicles or 
they've done it just to mess with us. <laughs> yeah, it was just to mess with us. Yep. We're at Weeper. We've stopped at the cultural centre to have a look around and get some information and then we'll head on and find a camp. We're just walking through the cultural centre and Zave sees this hiding under one of the displays, not realising it's a fake and that was quite amusing. We've gotten to Weeper Campground where they luckily had a spot available for us and it's about 12 o'clock which I think is the earliest we've ever gotten to camp so I think we might set up the table and have some lunch. Leftover butter chicken but no rice so curry wrap. Weeper because it's got a good drawing of Jess fishing. So, it's been a bit destroyed by corrugations, but this is a mango milkshake IPA. It's a nitro beer, so there's a, a certain number of steps you have to take before you drink it. So says flip it three times, let it rest for 10 seconds, drop, pour it, and then watch the bubbles. We'll give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh! Well, there you go. That is a mug of ale, or well, IP ale. Does it taste like a mango milkshake? It's delicious. That's awesome. That's so good. It li literally could be a mango milkshake, not beer. And it's so creamy. One drop brewing co. Mango milkshake IPA. And I'll be having the strong bit. Do you want to explain what's for dinner? So this is the, the super natural, just prepping. You no, know, camera's not even on. So tonight dinner right at the beach like I'm looking at the beach could not be better and we're having just classic burgers tiny bit of butter on each well a lot of butter on each of the patties and some in the pan so you can see the butter's melted through which means that it's about time to add in these onions now I cut them into very crude rings Bacon off, onions off, and then we're gonna roast the bread rolls for 10 minutes. Um, no, these are dinner rolls, but they're gluten free, and because Jess can't eat regular bread, you have to cook these in an oven, and the closest thing we have to an oven is the pan with a lid on. Alright, so these dinner rolls say 20 seconds in a microwave, um, and it's been about two minutes in a pan, so they're done in my opinion. It is time to cook our patties. Just burgers. Burgers, that looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then, it's done. Tomato sauce in there. Go for a little bit of lettuce on there as well. Put that patty on, followed up with rasher of bacon, bit of onion, slab of beetroot, and then. Oh my god. A 
avocado. Heaps of it because we got so much to use. Lay it on top. Delicious. Did you do cheese? There's cheese on the patty. Oh. And that'll do it. How is it? That is delicious. So I'm gonna get messy eating. So the sun sets tonight. Sets every night. Sun sets tonight for an exciting rise tomorrow when we start the real Cape journey and the old telegraph track. Off for a walk down the beach to watch the sunset with Hemingway's Breweries, Fingerlime White Ale, Cloud Nine. Pretty nice view, hopefully pretty nice beer. Light, fluffy, it's good. Heading out of Weeper this morning. Weeper's just a mining town on the coast. It's the biggest, biggest town on the whole Cape. Um, and it's pretty beautiful. Like, we, we camped 20 metres from the beach. So that was a very nice place to camp. And we are two days from the tip. Today's plan is to drive to the Bramwell Junction, which is the start of the old telegraph track and then hoe into the track and take as much of a, a chunk out as we can today. Cape York is the number one destination for four-wheel driving in Australia. And today we start one of the most renowned tracks. It's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. So we are at the Bramwell Junction Roadhouse. Chatted to a few people about the track, um, and they got through it all right. So, yeah, we're on to it. <laughs> 